it's neglecting what we got as salvation. Look what it says. Salvation brings the gift of spiritual sight. Acts 26, 18. Now let me just go through this list real quickly. Acts 26, 18, one of my favorite verses, describes what happens at the instant of salvation. And you can see seven things. They're right there on your screen. Number one, open their eyes. The instant of salvation, spiritually, God opens our eyes. What does that mean? We start understanding the Bible. Number two, we turn from darkness to light. Number three, we turn from the power of Satan to God. We receive forgiveness of sins, number four. We have an inheritance in heaven. We are sanctified and we have faith. What is that? It's a gift. Remember the apostles said, Lord, increase our faith. So at the instant of salvation, gives, Jesus gives us everything we need. He lets us see. We no longer love darkness. We want the light. We're set free from Satan's power. We know we're forever forgiven. We have our eternal inheritance in heaven. We want to be useful to him and we're growing in faith. That's salvation. But what happens? Materialism slowly undoes the work of salvation. It blinds us to seeing Christ. It blinds us to knowing our inheritances in heaven. And it keeps us from actually seeing Christ in his word. I'd like to tell you a quick story about someone who was blind. And then the Lord opened their eyes. It's one of the most fascinating stories that I've heard. Uh, in fact, I, I can't stop telling people about this. It actually came from someone watching, just like you. Uh, they were on YouTube. Uh, they told me that they are 60 years old. They live in London. They were traveling on the subway. In fact, the slide says, a 60-year-old weekender on the London tube or subway. And I, I was trying to read on there what a weekender was. And finally, I got down there. I found out this is a person that lived for concerts. And they were 60 years old. So they had been going to concerts for like 45 years in Britain. I mean, they had seen from the Beatles through all the groups since. They, they had gone to their concerts. And they said that they lived the normal life of the weekenders. They'd get as high as they could get, as drunk as they could get. It was a woman. She said she always tried to find the guy that couldn't resist her. And she just kind of lived life to the fullest that she could in sin every weekend. And she said she was 60 years old, coming home from a concert at 60. And she said she felt so empty, so purposeless, that she typed onto her smartphone, hope. And guess what came up? I, I thank the Lord that somehow the algorithm of Google put the YouTube video, Season of Hope. It was a Christmas concert at Calvary Bible Church, where I served for many years. And it was on YouTube, and she got that video, and she turned her phone and really got into it. And I was talking about hopelessness, and only Christ could open your eyes. And I said, if you would like hope today, bow your head. And she said, wearing her earbuds, riding the subway, she bowed her head. Now, you know, nobody watches you on the subway anyway, so she was fine. And I said, and if you really want hope, raise your hand. She said she raised her hand on the subway. Now, maybe someone noticed that. I don't know. And she asked Jesus Christ to do what he promised he would do, riding that subway. Well, I got that email six months after she was on the subway. And she said to me, I want you to know Six months ago, I was riding the subway. Six months ago, I watched that YouTube clip that was a few minutes long about Season of Hope. And she said, you said, bow your head. You said, pray. I raised my hand. She said, my life has completely changed in six months. She said, my life, the chronicle of my life was on the wall of my apartment. I had the, the jacket of the radio, or I mean of the record cover of every album. And then I got down to just papers because they didn't sell albums anymore. But she said, my life of concert weekending was my wall of my apartment. And she said, every time I walked in, I thought of how much I used to enjoy all that and how hopeless I'd gotten until I rode that subway and raised my hand to God. She said that was six months ago. 
She said, I just finished taking the last one off the wall and taking it to the trash. She said, I was going to sell them. They were worth a fortune. But she said, I listened to more YouTube videos and found out in Acts 19 that the Christians there burned all the things that reminded them of the devil. So she said, I just, I couldn't burn anything here in London. So she said, I just put them into the, the trash dumpster. She said, God opened my eyes. Did you know that's what happens the instant of all of our salvation?